afternoon. It's the 14th still. Um, I don't know, 3.30 or so maybe. Um, it's overcast still. It's nice. It's been cool. Wind. Very cool. Um, been planting seedlings. So that's how that normally runs. Just knee compressor at the moment. Radial uh, swirl maybe and biofilter. Biomedia filter. Uh, all through there has been seeded with parsley. Then through here, you read long white radish, long scarlet radish, puckle air, turnip, all planted today, silver beet, five colour mix, dress. So around the cress, sprinkle seed as well. This has, you just be able to see it from there, cotton wool. Check out the store photos. So there's two rows of cotton wool, sprinkle the seeds on top. Sprinkled seeds all around in the bed as well, just to get a bit of a comparison. That is my water line, basically. Um, we're here in good time. And see the level, and it has about an inch, 25 mil, maybe maybe more, maybe 35 mil. We go. I've tried to set all of those at a height that is level when it's full. Uh, yeah, they've all got different bits. The seeds, you can just see the seeds sitting there. I'm just letting it go. That's just rock. Pop more to get a variety of ways of doing it. That silver beet again spread spread it all around. But the silver beet is uh, just on the rock. Over here we did a lot of all year round lettuce. So that's just rock with a little bit of really coarse builder sand over the top of it. Uh, again there's lettuce all through here. Dill and a couple of layers of cotton wool. So it took a while, I was screening media, it took quite a while actually. I opened up, you can see, um, opened up all the cotton wool. Uh, I've got a bunch of seedlings underneath as well. Everything's good apart from that. Um, I'll try and catch whatever it is that is eating my bok choy a little later on. Uh, everything's growing basically, which is really good. Everything. So I've put some just seedling mix along here just to get some greenery happening. That's just leftover food from the mice, which is bird seed basically. So hopefully I'll start getting stuff growing all the way around. Okay, I'm calling it quits for the day. I'm pretty happy with where this is at at the moment. Yeah, I need to take a break from this and start doing some other things that have been put on hold. I do need to get this bed set up. I'm looking at raft through there. I know nothing about it, so I need to do my research. I know that I'll need some IBCs. So I've got those. Two more out the back, out, out behind that grow pen. Everything's pretty honky-dory. Ah, oh, okay. I'll go around and have a look for what ended up happening down here because I haven't looked at that. You can see how clear that tank is still. Maybe it's that siphon. Goldfish are doing well. So I put in the second pump both this down by uh, 5,000 mm pump. There's a bowel separating them and there's a bowel controlling the back to make that pump control there. So I need to empty the radial flow again tomorrow. I have little monkey holes there. Camera and uh, trying to get that on the camera so you can see how I'm doing it. I also need to put a lot of sand for the face of that so I'm just going to use the tank. I'll come back in a second and have a quick look at the solids. No, I'll do that another time. Solids are coming out there. And the change coming up on five minutes. The change. Look how clear that water is. And there it is down there. They're growing. They're only 
I worked that out for the month old or a month with me. Okay, I'll look at that later. Good flow rates, all those sorts of things. Happy boy, happy monkey. Okay, bye.